I'm Johnny, and it's time for Meta Neural Programming. Now, what exactly do I mean by this? Meta, as in a higher level of, and also being self-referential, neuro meaning brain, and well, we all know what programming is. That's what nerds like me do. In short, if, as Douglas Hofstetter says, consciousness is a strange loop, then this particular strange loop is learning how to change the shape of its twists and turns being able to program and reprogram your brain. Now, I'm not entirely certain where this all started from, but I got introduced to it through Timothy Leary's Eight Circuit of the Brain model. And this lays out the brain into four lower circuits, safety, territorial thinking, intellectual concerns, society, and sexuality. And then from there, it gets into, well... You kind of have to take it with a grain of salt. Literature about metaprogramming can get into some seriously weird territory. Really weird. Like, are these guys for real? Or is this just a put on? But in a lot of ways, it's the weirdness that gives it a certain kind of charm. There are also some legitimate or more socially acceptable metaprogramming schools, styles, methodologies. I'm not sure what to call them. But a skilled metaprogrammer will try them all. When it comes to examining your own brain, there is a fine line between metaprogramming and, well, just wanking. Just getting caught up in thinking about, thinking about, thinking about. And there's another fine line between that and spooky mystery cults. And man, do those lines get fuzzy. We're just barely scratching the surface. This is the introduction to the introduction. Let me give you a quick little example of metaprogramming, just how simple it can be. So uh, for instance, because I'm a nerd, I use Emacs for any sort of text, anything. I also have a bit of a problem with my spelling. I hooked into the Emacs spell check Instead of it just changing the word for me, every time I misspell a word, I have to type the word correctly three times. And of course, the moment you've all been waiting for, tips for single guys from Justine. If you can't get a guy or a girl, then maybe they aren't the fucking problem. There are two very important tools when it comes to being able to metaprogram. Being able to self-reflect and always keeping your metaprogrammer toolbox on the top of your mind. Being able to pause your thinking, think about it, seriously, rationally think it through is a habit. And it's a habit like every other habit. It's just gonna take constant repetition until it becomes second nature. You're just gonna have to do it over and over and over and over. Keeping your mental toolbox on the top of your mind is Really a story for another video, but one of the tools that I had the most success with was a deck of index cards that I would keep with me. And I could write down the little mental tools that I picked up and keep my thinking fresh and try to build up new habits by just pulling out this deck of cards every morning on my commute to work and kind of going through them. Being able to fix your own brain, I think, is something that's very fascinating and something that's very fulfilling. I certainly know my brain is kind of broken, and we're coming up to this cusp of a democratization of how our brains work, and more and more people are learning about this and learning about it. What kind of cognitive biases do they have? What kind of broken ways of thinking? And the more we can do this, the better. So until next time, being the programming that's programming your own programming, Yo Dog is fun.